Hey everyone, it's Dan from Gematria Today. Welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to talk about sports, how sports are rigged and fixed. And with Gematria and Gematria, you will learn that it's scripted down to the box score. Every last detail is scripted. Now, for those that don't know that sports are rigged, um, sports have been rigged from the beginning. And this is not a conspiracy theory. Um, they've been caught many scandals around the world involving sports. If you ask anybody about boxing, they'll tell you that boxing is fixed. Um, horse racing. Um, lots of uh, European soccer matches and players have been under investigation. But when it comes to America, people get self-righteous. Well, no, that's pure. Well, actually, what it is is pure entertainment. And whenever you have gambling involved, and it's estimated that it's over a, a billion dollars worth of gambling, illegal gambling happens um, every year, that's illegal. You know? And there's legal gambling and illegal gambling. You're going to have unsavory characters involved. Also, you have a league that wants to make people watch their games. So they have interesting flamboyant characters like this guy right here, Odell Beckham Jr., and I'll get to him in a minute. You have controversy, you know. Every day in the sports they talk about LeBron James. He's the face of the league. You need a face of the league. It used to be Michael Jordan. There was something called the Michael Jordan rule, where whenever Michael Jordan would go to the basket, there was a foul called. Was there a foul? Usually not, but he got superstar treatment. And he went on to win six championships because Michael Jordan sells. Larry Bird sells. Magic Johnson sells. You need stars. So stars sell the league just like stars sell movies. If you think about sports as entertainment, then think about it as the movies. The movies have a script. They have lines, you know, that they're supposed to say at a certain time. That's what happens in a sports game. You see the numbers add up. Watch a sports game and see how things add up and see how the games are close. Most of the games are very close. You know, the fourth quarter used to be a joke about the NBA, that the fourth quarter is the only quarter you need to watch because that's when things tightened up. And it's true. To this day, excite, you know, a close game gets more viewers. More viewers means more ad revenues, higher ratings, etc. You know, the NBA offseason is more interesting than the NBA season sometimes with all the free agency moves and trades and all this, you know, speculation where's LeBron going to go next, you know? So that's like this across the board in all sports. Um, college sports as well. Anytime you have betting going on, you know, on the national stage, you have rigged games. And I'll get into it. Rigged sports, rigged trades. We live in a rigged reality. And gematria, or gematria, which is how you really should pronounce it, <laughs> proves it even more. You know, these people are entertainers. They're high-paid actors. And it's sad because you don't really know how good these teams are, how good these players are, you know? You have these rigged outcomes. And you can say, well, how can you rig an outcome, you know? Well, there's technology. There's a guy that I follow. His name is Zachary K. Hubbard. Check out his website, his, uh, his blog. It's called Free to Find Truth. And he talks about how they're using technology to you know, make the scores sync up to the numbers. And it's magnetics. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen, probably have, uh, a kicker kick a field goal. Um, there have been a lot of field goals that will slice right and then come back and go through the goal posts. Now, what would it take, and there's been a movie about it, there's a movie called, oh God, I can't remember it, about how they magnetized the basketball. And of course, they made it ridiculous, you know, that you knew something was up. Um, why not? The rim is metal. 
put a magnet in the basketball. This isn't so far-fetched. I mean, we have cell phones. We have amazing technology today. You know, why not put something in a puck? Why not put something, you know, in a football? Put something in a basketball, in a baseball. You want a home run here? Here it is. You want a drop ball here? Here it is. So anyway, let's get back to Odell Beckham. Notice he's wearing the number 13. 13, a big number. 13 original colonies. You know, 13 years of public schooling, although now it's 14, possibly. Um, you know, K through 12, that's 13 of state schooling. Um, 13 stripes on the flag here in America. 13 Illuminati families, big number. So Odell Beckham traded to the Browns. It happened 18 weeks in one day after his November 5th birthday. Now that's interesting because if you write out New York Giants, and I'll do it for you, you can go to jamachinator.com, New York Giants. Giants equals 181. And he was traded 18 weeks in one day after his birthday, right? On 11 5. It was also 127 days. Notice Beckham was born with 127 numerology. 11 plus 15 is 16, plus 92 is 108, and 19 is 127, right? So <clears throat> this trade happened on the 12th of March, also lining up with his birth numerology, 108, which is 18, drop the zero. Odell, Odell Cornelius Beckham, equals 115. He was born on 11-5 or 115. The Giants were 5-11 and 11 last year, right? Kind of like 115 in reverse. Um, Odell Beckham, Odell Cornelius Beckham Jr., 106. 106 is 16. He was born with 16 numerology. Also equals 137. 137, the 33rd prime number. If you write out 16, it equals 33. He went to New York. 33. 16. 33. He went to Cleveland. 33. Lots of 33s there. He was traded, or the trade happened. Trade. 33. So as you can see, there's we call them the four base ciphers. Um, the first cipher is the English ordinal cipher. So it's the alphabetical order. T is the 20th letter of the alphabet. R, the 18th. A, the first. D, the fourth letter of the alphabet. E, the fifth. You add it up, equals 48. Reduction is basically everything reduced. So instead of T being 20, T is 2. And here it's 33, the reverse reduction. So it's the alphabetical order reduced. So normally trade is uh, 87. T is 7, R is 9, A is 26, D is 23, E is 25. When you reduce A, A gets reduced to 8, D to 5, and E to 4. That equals 33. Getting back to this. So Odell Beckham Jr. equals 56. You can see right here. I don't know if you can see that. Equals 56. Born with 56 days left in the year. I'll do it just in case. You can't see that. Odell Beckham Jr. 56. See that in the reduction? 
the purest cipher, as Manly P. Hall calls it. Manly P. Hall, 33 degree Freemasonry, who wrote The Secret Teaching of the Ages. Oh, wait, what did he write? Let's see if I could say it right. I'm having trouble speaking sometimes. Um, secret Teaching of the Ages. Anyway, something like that. Uh, what else we got? So Odell Beckham also equals 91. 91 is the 13th triangular number. So Odell Beckham, 91. And how I figured that out is you go here, 91 is the 13th triangular. And that means if you add all the numbers from 1 to 13, it equals 91. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. I'm not going to do it, but you can do it. Also equals 233. 233 is the 13th Fibonacci number. Fibonacci, that spiral of life that mathematically, you know, when you cut open a tree, you get those rings. Well, they, they're in a mathematical pattern, a natural pattern. And he wears number 13, right? Um, Cleveland Browns equals 169. If you write out the Cle Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns equals 169. 169 happens to be the square root of 169 is 13 again. He wears number 13. You know, this article posted on the 13th. Browns also equals 71. Browns, 71. Browns also equals 91. I didn't see that. The 13th triangular related to Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham equals 91. Did I say that? Yeah, Odell Beckham, 91. Browns, 91. Perfect. Browns also equals 71. This happened on the 71st day of the year. That's important. And also... Could spell New York Giants equals 71 in this reduction cipher here. So, what else has happened on the 71st day of the year? I think I said that. Beckham equals 25 and 38. Giants, 25 and 38. So, they were a perfect, a good match for each other. Beckham, 38 and 25. Giants, 38 and 25. Good match. So the Giants get pick number 17 in, in the trade, the reflection of 71. New York Giants equals 170 or 17. Oops, I think I closed the wrong thing. Uh, anyway, do it again. New York Giants equals 170. And in numerology, you drop the zero. It's funny that they should get the 17th pick in this trade. When they equal 170 and 71, the reflection of. Reflection of numbers is, is important in numerology. They're going to gain this, get this nine na named Jabril Peppers. Jabril equals 47. This happened four weeks and seven days after Odell's birthday. 47, that magical number. Jabril. 47. Also 25 related to Giants. Remember? So oh, Jabril going to the Giants makes sense. Also, this so this happened four weeks, seven days after his birthday. Jabril Peppers equals 78. New York equals 78. Good place for him to go. Show you New York. New York, 
78 in that reverse ordinal cipher. And Jabril Peppers. What a name. These athletes are named accordingly. They're born and bred to be. This is a father-son league. The NFL, a lot of sons of former players. Same with baseball and basketball. Um, Stephen Curry, Del Curry's son. On and on it goes. There's speculation that LeBron James, his father is Nate Thurman. If you look at Nate Thurman and LeBron James, there is a resemblance. Um, I believe Nate Thurman was born in Akron, as LeBron James was. LeBron James and Steph Curry were born in the same hospital in Akron. So anyway, there's a 78 number for Jabril Peppers. So this is it, you know. Um, the Browns, 37 and 28. Obel born with 37 and 28 num numerology. So perfect that the Browns should get him. He was destined to be a Brown. Oh, got to put on the S exception. So the S exception is this. S is the 19th letter of the alphabet. So as a result, it can be reduced twice. 1 and 9 is 10. That's the S exception when S is 10. And you can further reduce uh, 10 down to 1. That's the full reduction. So Browns 28, 37. Odell Beckham born with 37 and 28 numerology. See right here. In 1992. Um, I think that was it, but just another example of sports by the numbers, trades by the numbers. Here's the one I wanted to talk about as well. The Lakers. So the Lakers... On 312, which can be written 12 slash 3, they win with 123 points. Just a coincidence. LeBron played 33 minutes. LeBron equals 33. LeBron James. When I first, I didn't know anything about Gematria, but when I saw LeBron James, I'm like, this guy looks like he was made in a lab. I mean, he's 6'8", or however big he is, 250, can run like a deer, jump, and do all this stuff. Like, this is like a genetically engineered human being. Anyway, LeBron, 33, played 33 minutes, also 66. James, his last name, 33, in that reverse reduction cipher. You just add things up. That's all you're doing. It's so easy. You write out his full name, LeBron James, equals 66. Also that 42 number, 42 stamped on black people, 66. So um, their away record, as it says here, you can look it up, 13 and 20. That's 33. He had 36 points in the game. LeBron James equals 66. The Lakers equals 66. And the Lakers stayed on 36 losses. Had 36 points, 36 losses. LA was 30 and 36 coming into the game. All right, LeBron James, that equals 66. LeBron James equals 66. The Lakers equals 66. Also equals 21. They beat the Bulls. The Bulls, 66 and 33. All right. Bulls, 21. Lakers, 21. They beat them by 16 points. If you write out Los Angeles. If you write out Los Angeles. Los Angeles. City of Angels. That equals 53. 53 is the 16th prime number. Go to number properties, numberempire.com to confirm that. 
If you write out 16, as mentioned before, it equals 33. There are only two 16. C is 33, also 42, but we'll get to that later. 33. There's another number that equals 33. These are the only two numbers that you write out that equal 33. That's very significant. What are the odds of that? Not a mathematician, but they're pretty slim. So anyway, uh, Lakers had, a, had 16 points in the first quarter. Let me just make a typo while I'm here. They had 16 points in the first quarter. Setting the tone, right? Los Angeles, 53, the 16th prime. 16 equals 33. Lakers had 16 in the first quarter, and Le LeBron James had 16 at the half. <laughs> the Bulls had 34 in the first quarter on a day with 34 numerology, right? 3 plus 12 is 15, plus 19 is 34. Both add up to 7. 1 and Lakers won with 123 points. 1, 2, 3, that's 7. The game was on the was 72 games from LeBron's 34th birthday, or 73 if you count the end date. Also, um, we'll skip that one. Also, 100, uh, 103. So, also 10 weeks, two days, or 103. 10 weeks, three days. 103 is the 27th prime, like the 27 numerology of the day. Three plus. 12 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 is 27. The Bulls lost their 27th home game. That was their 27th home game that they lost. They fell to 8 and 27. You can look this up. That's the reflection of 72. And guess what? This is the 73rd NBA season. If you count the end date, and you can do both, 73 is the 21st prime. I'll show you. 73, the 21st prime. Remember, Lakers equals 21, Bulls equals 21, 73rd season, 73 days if you include the end date after LeBron's 34th birthday, where the Bulls had 34 in the first quarter on a day with 34 numerology. So if Kyle Kuzma, Lakers 21, Bulls 21, Kyle Kuzma had 21 points in the game. I think he was the second leading scorer. Um, if you write out 21, it equals 42. Because I was huh, like, huh, look at all this emphasis on 21. 21 is number of Saturn. 21. You write out 21, it equals 42. And look, 102, 10 weeks, two days after LeBron James' birthday. Also another thing, this is kind of a slam. Oops, you got to spell it right. The worst thing you can call a black person, 42, also 102. Look at that. That's what they think of LeBron James, really. Also, 21 is related to 33. If you write out 33, it equals 141. Just do that for you. Go to gematronator.com. Check out the calculator. This guy, Derek, developed this. Derek Takuri. He was a critic of Zachary K. Hubbard's work, and then he crunched the numbers and was like, oh my God, he's a believer now, has his own channel, check him out. Um, so LeBron James equals 42 as mentioned, and he was born on 1230, or December 30th, that equals 42. He's a 42 guy, right? The Lakers lost by 42 points maybe a month or so ago. I remember doing an episode about that, you know, LeBron James, NBA Finals equals 42. Let me just show you this. Is this a clue about the 
NBA Finals? Are the Lakers who are struggling to make a playoffs spot going to make it to the NBA Finals? I don't know. But maybe it's a clue. So anyway, 42, would be, it would further cement LeBron James as being you know, in that GOAT conversation that they love to have. You know, and, and these days they're talking about Tom Brady being the GOAT in the NFL. The greatest of all time. So anyway, um, NBA Finals, are they the greatest? I mean, if you're participating in, um, got to spell it right, these rigged sports, you don't know who is the greatest. NBA Finals, also that 33 number, 42, right there. So he was born on, okay, Los Angeles and Chicago getting together. Like two peas in a pod. Los Angeles 37, Chicago 37. 37, the reflection of 73. Right? This was 73 days after LeBron's birthday, if you include the end date. It's also it's also the 73rd NBA season. They put these schedules, they construct these schedules before the season starts with these numbers in mind. Los Angeles, 37, in that pure cipher. Chicago, 37. What else? So also Los Angeles equals 109. 109 in numerology is 19. Chicago has 19 wins. So I think I have it up here. Los Angeles, 109. See it right there? Or 19. Take the zero out. Yep. No, I'm not want to cancel. So um, Chicago's 19 wins. Kuzma came back from an ankle injury on that day. Ankle injury equals 67. All these injuries, well, most of them at least, are fake. I mean, you see lots of plays where you're like, how do you get hurt? You know? It's to create drama, to create tension. Not saying people don't get hurt playing basketball. People do get hurt. So 67, why is 67 important? 67 is the 19th prime, right? The Bulls stuck on 19 wins. It was LA's 67th game. It was Chicago's 69th game. Um, this guy, Contavious Caldwell Pope, scored 24 points off the bench. And they mentioned this in the same sentence. Who outscored the Bulls 43 to 24 in the third quarter? 24, 24, 24, the reflection of 42. So they outscored them by 19 points again. 19 related to LA's 67th game, related to the ankle injury, 67, the 19th prime. You see how this works? They also mentioned that Otto Porter Jr. had 19 points. <laughs> Right? Related to their 19 wins. Related to Lakers' 67th game. So the Lakers, this is what I mean by it being scripted, the box score to the final score, it is scripted. Lakers had 55 points in the half. If you write out Los Angeles, and I believe I have, Los Angeles equals 55 in that S reduction where S is 10 instead of 19 or 1. Um, Los Angeles equals 55. LA had 68 second half points. Chicago Bulls equals 68. I mean, what are the odds that these things line up? Chicago, you got to spell it right, though. Can't spell. Jamarcus might be kind of tough for you. 
So there's the 68 here. 68 number of championships, though. If you write out champion. 68. Look at the bowls and this. 68 and 58. This is why the Bulls won six championships, right? Check that out. The NCAA tournament has been expanded to 68 teams. Right? Number of championship. Um, where was I? Okay. They scored 230 combined points. 230 is 23. That's... LeBron's jersey number. If you write out 23, it equals 55 and 33, numbers of Los Angeles. L.A. equals 13. You just say L.A., which commonly referred to. It. Pretty common. L.A., 13. Also 41. 41 is the 13th prime number. I was born with 41 numerology. So they won their 13th away game. Interesting. LA equals 13. They won their 13th away game. On the 71st day, 71 is the 21st prime. 71. I'm sorry, the 20th prime. Why is that interesting? Because they stayed at 20 losses on, at away, on away. And Brooke Lopez, Lopez, Former Laker had 20 points and seven rebounds, or 207, which is 27. It's happened on a day with 27 numerology. 27, a number of ritual. Ritual. 27, also 81, both forward and backward. Kind of rare. LA Lakers equals 79. And this was 79 days before the start of the NBA Finals. Are the LA Lakers going to make it to the Finals? It would be a miracle, right? That would be the most amazing comeback ever. LA Lakers, also that 137, the 33rd prime. You know? 79 NBA Finals, as mentioned, 33. LA Lakers, 137, 33rd prime. L.A. has won 31 games and 13 on the road, and L.A. equals 13. 31, 13, 13, the reflection of 31, 31, the reflection of 13. So I got this from ESPN. So just another update, um, example, sorry, of rig sports, and you can find them every single day of the year. Rig championships, tennis matches, NASCAR races, everything that people can gamble on is rigged because that's what sports are all about, about entertainment, ensuring outcomes, making things exciting, interesting for the fans. How do you do that? You make it close. You have compelling characters. You have them saying crazy things at crazy times. All by the numbers. That's what it's all about. Um, that does it for today's episode of Jumatria Today. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, thanks. I'll see you later.